There's a turf war brewing in the suburbs with the Water Corporation urging homeowners to rip up their grass verges. It says Perth's climate is too hot for water guzzling landscapes, but some councils disagree. If the Water Corporation has its way, this is what every verge in Perth would look like. Green lawn gone, replaced with native plants. Easy maintenance, uh, there's no mowing. We want people to think about what they're putting on their verge and look for some water-wise solutions. Water Corporation Chief Sue Murphy says we're wasting too much water. The biggest complaint to the utility of sprinkler water running down roads. I think our community here in Western Australia is increasingly aware of the very dry climate we live in and how important it is for us to live within the terms of our environment. But while we all have to maintain our verges, we can't do what we want with them. Each council has its own rules. Some, like Cambridge, allow gardens, astroturf, paving or lawn. I like the look of the natural, the trees and the green and the gardens. While in Vincent, there's a council-funded Adopt-A-Verge program. We actually dig up the verge, we provide mulch and then we also give native plant vouchers. Only grass is permitted here on the verges in Peppermint Grove. The residents of this shire are the largest users of water of any other council in Western Australia. Other top water guzzling suburbs include neighbouring Dalkeith, Gooseberry Hill, Swanbourne, Henleybrook, Eluca and Darlington. Our best water savers include East Perth, Highgate and Fremantle. Vincent's mayor says homeowners should be able to make their own call as long as it's green. Local government needs to get out of the way and make it happen. It's good for our streets, it's good for our community. Oliver Peterson, Nine News. And we'd like to know what you think. Just head to the Nine News Perth Facebook page to have your say.